just here doing a quick update on the aerial flight control system slash Arduino rocket. It's kind of been relabeled as the aerial flight control system. And it's also been remodeled a little bit as simply an altitude control system with potential stabilization capabilities. Basically what's left to do is the code. There's still a long ways to go programming wise. The PCB design is finished, but it still needs to be etched and or cut. The math is figured out and implemented. The control fins are designed and built. They've been printed, assembled, and ground tested. Components have been ordered and received, so those are ready to go. Still need to design a test rocket to actually fly this thing. And that's going to be probably the last step. And also, we just want to give a little statement on legalities. So if this was a guidance system, then I could not actually give schematics, PCB designs, any sort of CAD designs whatsoever due to ITAR part 121.1 and somewhere in there talks about this. But since this doesn't actually change the trajectory of the rocket, it's not a guidance system. This simply slows the rocket after the motor's finished burning. Basically the rocket will go straight up to some altitude and then after the motor burn, the rocket will be coasting towards its apogee and that's where the aerial flight control system will do its thing and break or not break to control its altitude. Hopefully within about five feet or one meter and a half or something. And after apogee, it'll simply be falling for however long the delay charge is before it fires the ejection charge, which will push the chute out, and then it'll simply float down the parachute until the ground hit. Now, this flight computer is designed to be able to fire at least two pyros in case we can't use the ejection charge on the motor, depending on how the rocket thing is actually designed. So we may have to do that fire pyro that puts the chute out some other way, then we don't want to just crash it. But yeah, that's the aerial flight control system midweek update, and coming along well, should be done hopefully in the next couple months. If it's not, then we'll finish it this summer.